Okay, we've loaded video into PC Crash, we've marked the areas of interest, done the, some lens correction, used the corrected video frames as background images for 3D cameras. Now I'm going to show you how you can track vehicles using the video interface and then uh, apply those tracked positions to uh, your vehicles in PC Crash. So I'm just going to hop ahead to the start of my area of interest here, so I can toggle around. Now I've already run this, but I'm just going to run it again. So I'm going to hit track vehicles and it will assign ID numbers and draw boxes around anything it thinks is uh, possibly a vehicle shape. So you see it's got lots of vehicles. Uh, it's also catching some objects in the background and some traffic lights. That doesn't matter. Okay, so it's run to the area through the area of interest that we've marked previously and let's just sort of track well here let's go to the end so close to impact so you see it's assigned ID 17 to our left turner and 15 to a through vehicle and we can back up and see how it tracks with the vehicle 15 <clears throat> but uh, you see that actually it's identified this thing before we come into frame. This thing is number 15. So that's going to cause a problem if it thinks the vehicle is way off in the corner lot there and then comes into frame here. Also, if you look at uh, this left turning vehicle, it's assigned different vehicle IDs to it throughout its lifetime. So you'll see that this, this left turner here in the foreground it's been ID number zero the whole time. It tracked that one very well. And this guy here also is ID number seven. It applied that nicely. So I think what we want to do is override uh, what its uh, choices were here. So like at number 17, for example, if we want to continue with that 17 nomenclature, we could track it back to a point where, okay, see it's made a bit of a mistake there. So we can pick vehicle number 17, hit uh, select vehicle, and then just manually say this is 17. And we can go back, maybe skip a couple frames and do the same thing here, and so on. So I've already done that with this uh, project. So I'm just gonna reload it and load the uh, so you can see these paths are what it comes up with if you've got a vehicle uh, that hasn't tracked properly so what I've done is gone and I've applied ID number 20 to the through vehicle and 17 to the left left turner so if I go to uh, calculate vehicle positions now, so let's take our through vehicle and go to ID number 20. Oops, 20. There, so here's sort of the velocity that it's calculating over time. Uh, we'll just look at the box center method where it's just calculating what's the center of this box and saying that center is at the uh, one half of the vehicle height above the ground. So uh, when I first recorded this video, uh, which I think had some sound issues back at the launch of 15.1, uh, PC Crash was just projecting the ray from the camera to the vehicle uh, center uh, right through to the ground plane. Uh, well, I guess the vehicle, one half of the vehicle height above the ground plane. Uh, now uh, PC Crash is using a 3D road slopes, which is what I have here, uh, because I've textured the road surface in order to, uh, uh, in order to, to have the vehicles at the correct height, uh, accounting for the, in the local road slopes, etc. So, uh, we'll just do the box center and hit apply. And then we'll pick our left turning vehicle. So that was ID number 17 and apply. So you see, we've got the speeds dropping a little bit as it versus the intersection, say okay. So now as I move, you see what's going on here. 
Oh, wait. I'm way off in space. And that's because this video, it's at the 225, roughly, second mark where things get interesting. So we can, we can adjust this. If you just go to your diagrams, oops. And we go to origin offset. You see that it's offset it by 226 seconds for the one vehicle and 225 seconds for the other. So let's just turn that 225 into zero and 226 into one. And now if we zoom in on our diagram window, there. Now things are much more normal for display. And you got some actual control over it. So what it's done is it's created these paths. So you can see it's drawn path points wherever it says the vehicle should be for each of the vehicles for each of the identified points. And then if we go to our sequences and go to the sequence tables for velocities, those are, you can see, uh, specified for the different times for the different vehicles. So that's why we have that, that uh, offset in the uh, display there, the, the time origin. Is it's taking a zero time for the uh, velocity sequences, uh, and then it's following those paths. So you can see here, if we toggle our back background, you can see that now our vehicles are tracking on the road surface and going in towards impact. And now we've got an excellent starting point for uh, further refinement of our video. And uh, this can be applied to additional vehicles in the scene. So it's, uh, it extends, you know, we could uh, show the position of the other left turning vehicles uh, to try to develop sight lines and whatnot. Uh, so there you are. That is using video uh, object tracking in PC Crash 15.0. Uh,